Hey what's up, Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures, this is a showcase video of Space Marine Terminator Captain. Uh, this is the Collector's Edition Terminator Captain. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure when it was released or for what reason or anything like that, but it was just a, a boy from a guy on one of the Facebook groups um, that sell miniatures online. So, uh, Golden Demon for me is coming up uh, in the next few months if coronavirus doesn't kill everybody. <laughs> um, I think it will be cancelled at this point. It's looking like in um, other areas of the world, people are um, banning gatherings over a few hundred people. And of course, loads and loads of people come from all over the world um, to Golden Demon. You know, people from uh, from Europe and Spain and Italy and, and all sorts of things like that. So right now, I don't know whether it's going to happen. I genuinely don't think it will, but we'll see. So still really, really good to practice uh, high-level painting. For people's commission work, most of the time... I, I do like a high tabletop level, or just like tabletop stuff. Base wash highlight, or like, you know, two or three um, highlights and things like that. Really, not necessarily basic, like, I think it's it's decent or it's solid, it's good enough, but there's a balance between, like, speed and quality. And if someone wants an army doing, they don't want every minute to paint it to, like, the very, very best, etc, etc. So, every once in a while, as a commission painter, I think it's really, really good, really useful, and um, really beneficial to really push it um, to, to one level. So, this one took me about a day. So, probably about, I mean, just recently, I um, I get up, I, I'm not bragging, <laughs> my girlfriend is an English teacher, so I get up about six in the morning. Um, so, I don't want it to seem like I'm bragging, you know, like I get up really early and I'm really like motivated and that. But I get up about six, I start working about half six, um, and I probably stop maybe like eight, nine o'clock at night. And this last couple of months, um, I've been doing that almost every day. So say it's like 10, 15 hours work. I, again, I don't want to brag, but like, I say a day, and I mean like, probably like a couple of days worth of work. Um, to, yeah, to paint it up. And so I could have spent a lot longer. I think there's a lot a lot of areas um, of improvement still available. There's lots of things I could have done. Um you can layer almost indefinitely, basically, with the miniatures and stuff. So, like, I could have just gone through, um, and all the edge highlights. I'll get a, I'll get a brush. All, all the edge highlights, like on the on the hand, on the fingers, um, the little like reflection light lines, the little like armor panels, and on the legs and things, on the shins. You could go through and just like keep doing that. Super thin layers, just keep going and going and going, and for, especially for Golden Demon. Some people will spend a hundred hours on a on an entry, like legitimately. I think some people exaggerate, but you can see the way that it works and like extremely thin layers and, and some people work day jobs and then spend like two or three hours at night every night the whole year. Uh, and paint up like one entry that's taken them ten to twelve months, you know, from like I guarantee these people that have been painting their entries for this year since last year, sort of thing. So you could carry it carry it on going, there's loads and loads of things that you could just keep keep pushing, keep going. Um, but I find that after a certain time, you can sort of, um, not spoil things, but you can sort of, you can do a bit too much. Um, and I think what I've come to realise over the time I've been painting now, is that actually what I find personally most beneficial um, is being consistent across the whole miniature. So like, if you're going to do three highlights, say, um do that across every piece, every detail, go for three highlights, you know, make it consistent. If you're going to edge highlight, um, do it across like every surface, everything. Um, I've been trying to introduce a variety of textures, um, more so than I have been doing in, in, past, in the past to like the loincloth thing, I don't, know what, I, don't, I don't really know what it is. It's the, the cloth on the crotch there. Um, it's like a matte finish. I've used some gloss varnish for the lenses, for the um, visors, for the uh, the gems dotted around, you know, like all over the uh, the sword shaft there, uh, scabbard, I think you call it. So lots of different things like that, and then um, I'll turn them around. Uh, we've got the old cloak on the back. So sort of classic again, just classic sort of blending and edge highlighting and things like that. Uh, but yeah, to be, to be consistent, and then I, f I found overall the most pleasing, the most sort of uniform thing is just to go, like, spend a day or two painting them, not spending a week, not spending a month, um, and I've, I've, I can really knock out this sort of a level in a couple of days. Um, and it, it feels weird to make it about that. Again, I'm, I'm rambling, you know, but it feels a little bit weird to make it about um, money 
again, and I don't, I do make, I keep, you know, I keep mentioning money. Um, but as a commission painter, like if I'd have spent a hundred hours on this miniature, there's no way you would make any money on it. Um, so if it's for a personal project, or like I said, for Golden Demon, absolutely fine. Um, I like this one. I spent a long time with it. Perfect opportunity to push my painting, and you know, it is a little egotistical. Um, because yeah, as a commission painter, like you don't make any money doing these sorts of things. So it's a real pleasure to to really put like to, to push it a bit. And like I said that I could have gone way deeper with it. You know what I mean? I could have uh, I could have done more and more. And like I said, you can. Oop, I just knock the camera. Around. Keep layering and keep going. You know, I spent a long time on the face. I've got some real nice blendings on there. Um, the armor, just that super smooth, reflective sort of cartoony style almost. Um, like heavy metal sort of edge highlighting, reflection, light lines, the whole thing. Uh, and these are the ones I enjoy the most. You know, I've been so, I keep saying it right, but I've been so motivated just re just recently. I've been just painting all day every day. And um, these ones are the ones I enjoy the most. And I, I kind of wish, from a certain extent. Like I absolutely love my job. I love my customers. I love the you know all you know. I'm gushing about it. Um, but I really do wish I could do like, just this all day long and get paid the same amount. Because uh, like I said, I hate I hate to be about money, but you don't make any money doing these. So so that's it. Yeah, that's my advice. Anyway, as um, as like a commission painter, that there's definitely um, if you can spend a day or two on these on these miniatures to a level like this, and then like you definitely you can be able to sell these ones. And this would be sort of my like display level painting for people um, but yeah for, for me and my customers and my sort of like the commission list that I've got at the minute um, certainly it's quite rare uh, most people seem to want like decent painted high tabletop good tabletop level stuff um, people don't want to wait very long obviously and don't want to pay very much but <laughs> that's just uh, just the way things are so that's it uh, these pictures of this on my Facebook and Instagram Facebook.com forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures and then on Instagram is at Powerhouse Miniatures. Um, I, probably, I, I say this about a few different ones. I probably will sell this and I probably will put it up for sale. Um, but, I, I, and again, I keep saying this as well, but I, I absolutely hate the, the money side of things. I don't like it. I don't like valuing my own work and I don't like people saying like, oh, this is too much or people like, I know it's it's kind of pathetic really. I suppose it's should have like um, I should have thicker skin, but especially on the Facebook selling groups, you get like people give you snippy little comments, and um, I've had a few recently where people have just been just super rude for for no because they don't want to they don't agree that they don't, they want to pay like fifty sixty quid for a model and stuff like that. Like a few quite a few people been rude over the years. I suppose I sh shouldn't necessarily care that much about it, but. Anyway, that's it. So, cheers for watching. Um, check back soon. I've got all sorts of stuff coming up, and at the minute, loads of Lord of the Rings um, miniatures, as well as all my Golden Demon entries. So, check back for those, and thanks for watching. <laughs>